is Modi everywhere. Wherever uh, their party takes his name, he appears suddenly. <laughs> Modi is going to become Chief Minister of Karnataka. And BJP is not uh, giving full freedom to their leaders. And they want to finish the leaders. I am not bothered about who is going to become Chief Minister. You should work unitedly. I am interested to bring back the Congress. That is my desire, nothing else. If the summer heat wasn't enough, election heat is rising in Karnataka. We are less than a month away from the election and to talk all about it, I have with me one of India's most respected politicians, who also happens to be a Kanadiga, the AICC President, Mr. Malikarjun Kharge. Sir, thank you for your time with us. Uh, in your own words, sir, how important is the Karnataka election for the Congress keeping the 2024 Lok Sabha election in mind? See, all elections are important for me. Karnataka election is more important because I come from this place where I won nearly 11 elections out of 12. And 12th election, I have gone to Rajya Sabha. Right from block level, I have come up. That's why I know the pulse of the people as a block president, as a district president, as a PCC president, and as a working committee member, now as a AICC president. I hope uh, this, um, uh, this election will give good result for us. And if this election we won, entire atmosphere in India will be changed. Not only for my party, for people who love secularism and who respect constitution, who respect uh, democracy, they will be more happy than I. I will be happy because I am a congressman. As a president, I will be more happy. But other citizens, the common man will be more happy. It is because of your long association with Karnataka that there is an opinion that the Karnataka election is a litmus test for you because you come from here. Is that how you see this, sir? No, you see, I will take every election as important for me to develop my party. Not only Karnataka, any election in India where my party contest, it is for me very uh, prestigious. So here also I am fighting with same spirit and people, Karnataka people are very good. Now they have realized they want to remove this 40% corruption government and badly managed administration and also no infrastructure and the beautiful Bangalore city which had a name in the entire world that is they are spoiling the atmosphere they are spoiling therefore to maintain uh, that dignity and uh, law and order in the not only in Bangalore city in the Karnataka to keep our reputation, the Congress party should come to power. That is very, very, very important. So we speak of anti-incumbency, but the BJP is of the opinion that uh, there is pro-incumbency and BJP leaders also say that Prime Minister Modi is still very popular with people. Will that be a factor, sir, in the election? So I will tell you one thing. How long you are going to fight in the name of Modi? Modi is going to become Chief Minister of Karnataka. Shah is going to become Home Minister of Karnataka. Here, the local issues are there. The 40 percent corruption is there. Then you accept it. The Modi is uh, uh, approving the 40 cor percent corruption here. Because you are telling pro, no? The, there is a pro wave of BJP. Then, it means that people, uh, people who have complained, the contractors who have complained, who went up to Prime Minister, who went to CBI, who went to everybody, are they, uh, and all they are sensible people. And they challenged you. You could not 
uh, exposed them, you yielded them, you prayed them that you should not take such issues on the state. Then where is your pro-achievement, pro-people support? Therefore, it is not that. And Modi says everywhere, not only here, I had been to Gujarat, he said, Modi ko dek ke vote deo. As if Gujarat chief minister. It means a remote control everywhere with him. And uh, Himachal also said, Modi ko dek ke vote deo. Karnataka, Modi ko dek ke vote. Even in Nagaland, I was there. Then uh, Manipur, Meghalaya, everywhere he says, the Modi could he is Modi everywhere. He is uh, uh, he wants to uh, wherever uh, their party takes his name, he appears suddenly. So it's not good for democracy. Ah, you ask vote on your performance. You ask vote how much people are satisfied in this. You you ask vote how much infrastructure you have created, how much area irrigation you have done, what you have done for uh, this farmers, the scheduled cash, the uh, special component plan, he did not spend fully and they have diverted more than 10,000 crores to other projects and they speak about Dalits, backwards, minorities. Here, since beginning the, from the Devraja's time and Indira Gandhi's time, the poor Dalits, they were given a respectable positions. On that note, sir, the uh, BJP government here, apart from increasing SCST reservation, they have also taken a decision on internal reservation, which was a long pending issue. How do you see that, sir? They cannot be under obligation to him. It is in the constitution proportionate to the population. We MLAs, are we not getting proportionate to the population as MLA? Proportionate to the population of ST population? So it is not a big thing. It is already a gift of Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar and Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. They made efforts and made provisions and if you say this then why did not do the earlier Edurapa government why they did not do uh, instruct uh, the state government modi or shah now you remember backward dali that this and your philosophy means their philosophy is most dangerous to Dalits, backwards, minorities, and settled caste. So my contention is that your philosophy itself, you follow Manu, you are a Manuadis. How you will be uh, uh, means well-wisher of Dalits, you tell me. The Congress yesterday uh, asked the Prime Minister to make public details or findings of the caste census that was commissioned by the UPA government in 2011. Uh, what happened with that, sir, when you were in power? Was there uh, a problem in releasing those findings when you were in power? No, we were, we were working on that. We worked. The finally, naturally, some people were against it. But uh, we prepared everything. We could, uh, the lot of money spent on that. The intention is that to release it. We did not, because of elections came that this, that was. Now what is uh, wrong with you? Why you are not going to release it? Release it, cast senses, and do it. And you will be knowing at that time in which caste what is their per capita income, education, how many engineers, doctors, land holding, everything will come out. And that will give you to either improve their uh, uh, economic position or 
bring some special measures to improve their status. That will help. It is not with bad intention. Like proportionate to the population you are giving Dalits and uh, STs. Like that it will come. It is not a new idea. It is idea given by the constitution. That you should take and do it. Sir, I want to uh, wrap up with a few questions on the party's organization. Uh, given that it's an election going state, you have time and again asked your party colleagues in Karnataka to work with unity. You made a significant statement at the Jai Bharat rally. You said it doesn't matter who becomes the CM. Uh, are you happy with the way uh, your state leaders are working uh, in the state? Yes, otherwise Bharat Jodo Yatra could not have been successful. Hath Se Hath Jodo Karyakram could not have been successful. The digital membership could not have been successful. And uh, so many big rallies in each district and division places. The Congress President and CLP leader went together, campaign committee chairman, other leaders, uh, they also followed with them. And there is a big unity. But only when occasion comes, I have to advise. It, it doesn't mean that there is a division. That sometimes, if I ask you water, instead of asking cold water, I will ask you hot water. That, that will not create any problem. Just, there should not be even smallest doubt in the mind of others. Karge Sahib has become uh, AICC Congress President, whether he is coming here or not. Some other people may feel, no? That's why I said clear. I am not bothered about who is going to become Chief Minister. You should work unitedly. I am interested to bring back the Congress. Congress should come. Congress give good administration. The 40% corruption should go. And people should get their due from the government. The taxpayer who, are, who have given a lot of money in the form of GST, in the form of sale tax, they should be made more happy. They are bothered about the Bangalore development. They are bothered about the infrastructure, roads, all these things. And farmers, good price for that. And other youngsters, employment. The government, nearly 28,000 vacancies are in Karnataka. Why should not you fill up? Should you, should you ask? You protest wherever the central government is uh, denationalizing. And our good banks from South Canada who built uh, their own uh, efforts, such banks were also merged, such banks headquarters were changed. Why? Why? Karnataka is not good. Many he has taken from Ahmedabad. See, where there is a potentiality, where there is a good environment, work culture is there, technicians are available, engineers are available, there you encourage us. And no encouragement from the central government. Sir, I want to ask you about tickets. Out of 210 tickets that have been finalized, only 9 are women. Do you think more women could have been accommodated, sir? Yes, we could have accommodated here then. The what happened in this male-dominated society, many people, they themselves come, the block level, this level, oh, she is not going to elect and this is that. The feedback what it comes from ground level, it is very difficult at that time. And if the situation becomes good, definitely will give more and more prominence to ladies and our Madam Sonia Gandhi ji, Priyanka Gandhi, they are very, very uh, means uh, firm to giving them uh, seats. That's why in, in uh, Jaipur, uh, I passed that 50% reservation should be given SC, ST, backward and women. Whomsoever. Earlier that provision was not there. 
I got it amended in constitution, uh, the Congress constitution. Now slowly it will be implemented. As you know that the reservation policy articles, though it is there, still 7% reservation in the central government secretariat instead of 22%. So we'll definitely we'll take it. We are concerned about ladies. And that's why we have made four promises. Out of that one promise is 2,000 rupees for uh, Grah Lakshmi and also the youth, uh, youths. Uh, yeah, that is there. And uh, 100 uh, uh, units of electricity. Uh, sorry, 200 uh, units. So, like that, our four programs are there, and it is a guarantee card. So, and our people have gone door to door, they have um, spoken, they have convinced that if you come to power, we will do this. So, this is all. So, there was a lot of discussion around Mr. Sidharamaya and his choice to contest in two seats, but the High Command finally asked him to contest from just one seat. Do you want to elaborate on why uh, the High Command did not want him to contest from two seats, sir? When he is comfortable in his original seat, and he said that I will contest from that seat one, and two seats everywhere, because uh, the BJP adopted that formula now to defeat Shiv Kumar, that the, the candidate, opponent candidate is given two places. To defeat Sidramaya, two candidates they have given. That fear is not with us. That's why one to one, each, everybody should get one seat, but winning, and definitely Sidramaya is going to win with thumping majority. And we want his services for the entire state and also Siv Kumar's needed, and also Dr. Parmeshwar, uh, M.V. Patil, so many other leaders, I don't want to take everybody's name. They will go everywhere, they will campaign comfortably. If two means, they will be engaging themselves here, there. So, I kept the important questions at the end. I have two more questions. In the wake of recent developments, does the Congress anticipate a swing in the Lingayat and Vokaliga votes in, in, in the favour of your party in this election? Mostly, as a congressman, I believe people who come and join Congress party, I think that they will transfer their vote to Congress, because it is ideologically they accepted the policy of the Congress and uh, I hope whosoever joined Congress, whether Lingayat, Vakalya or some other community, hoping that their votes will also transfer to Congress party and at the same time their valuable lifespan they spent in public service. And the, the, oh, many people knows them, like Jagdish Setar, everybody knows him. Many roles he played, six time MLA. Of course, we all came early, but latest when they joined, he was in BJP a long time. When such a man realized there is something wrong in BJP. Then people will also think such man who was there as a chief minister, opposition leader, BJP president, and first man, one from his family in Jansang MLA. His father was Jansang corporator. His father was Jansang mayor. So when such people are leaving, people will naturally, they will think there is something wrong in BJP and BJP is not uh, giving full freedom to their leaders and they want to finish 
the leaders like Yadurappa, like uh, uh, Jagdish Settar, like Lakshman Saudi, so many people. That's why they are frustrated and they have accepted our principle and we hope that that will strengthen us and also they will work uh, fully with same vigor what earlier they used to do it. I would like to end our conversation with uh, your take on what uh, Karnataka Congress President uh, Mr. D.K. Shivakumar had to say last week. He said that he would be extremely happy to work under you, with you as the Chief Minister, if you should so desire. That such questions you should not ask me, that's why I replied in Kolar. Because such questions will come in my campaign and here also rumours should not go like that. So no man should be afraid of me, they should be free. That's why I said, I am for Congress, I want Congress should come back to power, serve for the people, for their betterment. That is my desire, nothing else. And what with great faith, Madam Sonia Gandhi ji has uh, entrusted me this work, uh, that mission I have to fulfill. So I have come with that purpose not for any other uh, uh, favours or getting something, I am not there. And I am 55 years, I served and I don't want to make comments on such things. That was Mr. Karge, thank you for watching.